Well, it was a very special night at Shelburne Park on Saturday night for the final of the 2013 ETS Irish Greyhound Derby. The first year of the ETS sponsorship, they're in for a three-year term, and they really got off to the most fantastic start. We had a thrilling derby all the way through, from the opening round right through to the final. Unfortunately, just five runners in the final, but what a lineup! And going to traps, number two, Tar Sugar Ray, was the favourite to take away the prize of 125,000 euro. Runners now on parade for the consolation final, and in one here we have that fantastic bitch, Borna Gem, owned by Rory Dwan, a daughter of Crash and Borna Magic. She's a massive 70 pounds weight, this lassie. She's brilliant, she flies out, she stays on well. Uh, very unlucky not to be in the Derby final. In two, Glenanore Dancer, a younger dog that's really made his mark, trained by Tom O'Neill for the We Got A Dog Syndicate. Another dog that ran extremely well in the Derby, Sonic Kinlock Bray and Marbeck Star. Number three then, last year's Puppy Derby runner-up, Isabel's Boy. Trained by Gary Silcock for Tricia McGuinness, a son of Foley's Folly and Blue in the Wind. Noted for his early gears, Isabel's Boy, sure to be prominent here. Then in four is Droopy's Adler, trained by John Lennon for the Ryan Green Pierce Syndicate. Son of Westmead Hawk and Droopy's June. Not the best drawn now here in trap four. He's not the best away, but this fella really motors from the second bend. The youngster of the party here in trap five is Hawaii Kinsale. Trained by Graham Holland for the Kinsale Syndicate care of Michael O'Dwyer, who's based in Hawaii. And Hawaii Kinsale is only a November 11 puppy. Six is Slippery Sutty, owned and trained by Larry Dunn in Dundalk, a son of Top Poncho and Kildallan Maid. A very fine tracker, he's only won two out of 18. He's much better than that. In one is Born a Gem, two Glenanore Dancer, three Isabel's Boy, four Drubies Adler, five Hawaii Kinsale, and six is Slippery Sutty. And away they go with one Borna Gem well out, so it's three Isabel's boy, but it's Borna Gem on the inside. Isabel's boy on the outside. Hawaii can sail his third. Racing around that opening band and into the back, and it's Borna Gem out front from five Hawaii can sail. Three Isabel's boy and two Glenador Dancer. But down the back, and Borna Gem is in supreme form tonight. She's out by five lengths. Hawaii can sail giving chase. What a puppy this fellow is. But out front, it's Borna Gem. Runs wide, runs strong. Rory Dwan wins the consolation. Second is five, Hawaii can sail. And third, number four, Droopy Zadler. So, Borna Gem, folks, brilliant performance. We can't give you the clock just yet, but we will have it for you very shortly. The result of the Irish Greyhound Derby consolation. The winner, number one, Borna Gem. Brilliant performance, trained by Rory Dwan, doing a time of 29.46. Winning by four lengths from Hawaii can sail and another four lengths to Drew Bizander in third. Oh, I, I, I'd have had a slight fancy for number five in the final tonight. I think he'll, he'll break quick and should be away before anything else. And there should be, I'd say there could be a little bit of trouble behind. I'd say number one could possibly come second or third, but a fancy five for the final. Tyre Sugar Ray is finishing very strongly. A strong known expert told me that. I, I think your father probably summed it up best um, this morning is, uh, in the racing post. I think the two dog in, in behind the early pace and with the injury doubts over Bally McVick and possibly the, the five dog, I don't know if he's going to do the splits that he done last week. The two dog looks a complete package. I expect him to come from off the pace. Tyre Sugar Ray. Simple as. Simple as. Tyre Sugar Ray is a, a nap for me tonight. I backed him uh, anti post. I think he won't be beaten. I think he'll get in behind the one dog. I think he, I'm coming off the second bend. He might be three, four lengths behind. I think he'll catch him and win. And, you know, nailed on. That's just my opinion. Well, Buddy McVicker, 100%, but I think Tyre out with a run and he'll be arms up down the back straight and I think he'll pick up Anton now when he got in the race. I think myself now, Cabra Book going up to the bend. We make it hard for him, but with three as well. But I think two, we're on the brakes, he win. Well, the consolation over, it's now on to the big one, the final of the ETS Irish Greyhound Derby for 2013. Unfortunately, five runners, Kiri King, badly injured in the semi-final, has had to be withdrawn, so trap four is vacant. And here we see the runners now going on parade. 
In one, Barry McVick, under a cloud for the toe injury that he sustained in his home paddocks, trained and owned and bred by Liam Dowling from Barry McElligot, a brilliant son of Kinloch Bray and Barry McVick. Number two, the new favourite, Tyre Sugar A, a finalist in the Derby last year, trained by young Connor Fahey, 25 years of age, youngest trainer in the race. Training this one for his father, PJ, who is looking for his third Derby winner. This dog is son of Top Honcho and Maraid's fantasy, not the best early, he'll be flying home. Three is the outsider of the party, and PJ Fahey played a major part in this, he bred the dam. Carol Gareth is the name of the runner, owned by 14-year-old Eleanor Mullins and three-year-old Emer Curtin, trained by Ollie Curtin and Sean Mullins. She's the surprise packet of the classic, she's a very fast starter though, you can't root her out. Top four vacant in five, we've Cabra Buck. Trained by Graham Holland for Bart Hyle. This son of Big Daddy Cool and Cabra Bell. He's well, it's not often we see a Dutch runner in the final, but this is one of them. Cabra Buck, he's great early pace, flies the lids, and once you do that, you're a mighty chance. He's second favourite in the betting. And on the outside in six, the bookies will dread a victory for Slippery Robert. Trained by Robert Leeson for the renowned gambler Larry Dunn. A son of Hondo Black and Steamy Windows, Larry bred this fellow himself. He's a powerful runner. His problem is he just can't get out of traps as well as the others. But there is some night he's going to make it. Could it be tonight? All in, folks, for the final of the 2013 ETS Irish Greyhound Derby Final. The roar goes up in one is Bally McVick, two tires Sugar Ray, three Carol Gareth, five Cabra Book, and six is Slippery Robert. Here now on the final band, coming up behind traps. And away they go, it's a very level start. Three, Carol Gareth is well out, so is five, Cabra Buck, and one on the inside, Barry McVick, but into the corner, and it's out front is Cabra Buck by a couple of legs. Slippery Robert is in second, then comes three, Kiri King, one Barry McVick, and Tyre Sugar Ray beginning to motor down the back. As five, Cabra Buck leads, there goes Slippery Robert, hits the front, and Slippery Robert looks a winner. Slippery Robert leads off the far end. From Cabra Book running on his tire sugar A. But Slippery Robert wins it for Larry Don and Robert Gleason. What a performance, folks. Larry has landed the touch of a lifetime tonight in the final of the Irish Derby. The ETS Irish Derby. Slippery Robert, trained by 25 year old Robert Gleason, owned by a legendary punter Larry Don, the son of Hondo Black and Steamy Windows, is the winner of the 2013 ETS. Irish Greyhound Derby. Well, a fantastic final, and what a result for Larry Dunn with Slippery Robert and young Robert Leeson, 25 years of age, a Derby winning trainer. Slippery Robert, the son of Hondo Black and Steamy Windows, winning in 29-49 from Cabra Buck in second, two lengths to verdict, and another two lengths to Tyre Sugar Ray, who got no run in the race, whatever, and finished third. I know he ran great. See, he's inconsistent at the traps. That's his downfall. And he had to hit it some night. Now, I don't know what way he broke, because it's all, I'll tell you the truth, it's a blur. I only watched it going up to the bend around the first two bends. And I seen he was second. And I thought, well, we're going to be in the money. But he wants to get more well, so he won it. That's, that's it. I just said, said somebody else, somebody, you know, just said, the highlights of your life, to bear to your children, you know what I mean, like the last, that, them 30 seconds there, and, you know, when you're, when you're in a wheelchair and you're, you're pushing around and you're, you're taking the last gas by your 60th cigarette for the day, do you know what I mean, these are the happy places, Ian, that you like, you know, that you have to go back to, you know, if you have a few of them, you know what I mean, you can always go back, close your eyes and go back to them in your head, so, uh, it's something else. You know, you have to experience it. It's, it's an unbelievable feeling. And PJ hugged me there coming across. And I just said to him, now I know the way you felt. You know, when you won. Oh, it's incredible. Incredible. I knew he was going to improve. Keep improving. You know, because the draws he started getting were unbelievable. You know, like from where go, he met Skywalker Pew, uh, northbound. You know, and you know yourself. You need to be doing every, everything right, every night. But look, it's here. He's won it now. And, it's unbelievable how you Larry, of course, you know, I know, I know it doesn't need any extra help to, to make it extra special with this lad, of course. You'd have seen him since, since birth. He, he was yeah. your own. Yeah, we bred him. He was a, a mountain shark, he popped down the bitch. And um, he came to us when he was probably 14 weeks old. And I think we had, um, we had, we have 10 kennels and we had 11 to come in. 
and I remember it's Alan, actually I know Robert a long time, but I, ever, I wasn't didn't know him that well, but it's actually Alan Hamlin introduced me to him. And I got friendly with him then. I said, Jesse, you can take one from me. I've won over, will you take him? He's a lovely big dog, will you take him? And um, yeah, Robert says, I'll take him. Yeah? And I give him another tree in after I get second, I give him another tree after. He was the first one he took, yeah. And um, yeah, he gave him a few skills and he said he was a lovely dog always when he started with me. Oh, this dog can gallop. And but, you know, people say that, yeah, whatever. You don't think. But he, he said to me that he put him in with Prelco and Prelco could run a bit, yeah. And he says, this fella blew holes in Prelco today. He says, and he led him. And I says, mother of Jesus, this fella can run a bit. Do you know what I mean? So, we take it from there. I mean, we're off to be very lucky together. Very, very lucky. He's, he made some, he, some performance that dog tonight. I have to hand it to me. Jesus, that dog ran some. <laughs>